Christian Fisher has not only been blessed with a perfect last name for his craft, but he also has the means to give back to kids and adults in the Rogue Valley who share the same passion. I got the same thing that you guys just caught. Fisher says his childhood memories of fishing in Wisconsin is what got him started. But after losing his grandmother last summer, he says his motivation has changed. They really made sure I had fishing gear and fishing poles. To be able to pass that on is the legacy of what my grandparents left behind. A little seed in my garden to be able to grow something to give to others. On Saturday, he hosted an ice fishing jamboree on Fish Lake to give away free fishing gear to kids. It's the first of its kind in Southern Oregon, but Fisher says it won't be the last. I wanna do a fishing adventure every month to take fishermen around uh, the different lakes that are in Southern Oregon. Southern Oregon residents, young and old, attended the jamboree. One Ashland resident says the event was perfect for her child to get some much needed outdoor experience. Especially now with the pandemic when a lot of them can't play with their friends and they can't do a lot of the social gatherings like being outside is a great way for them to come and be active and not be in front of the screen and get out of their house. Along with giving kids free fishing equipment, Fisher's Foundation focuses on giving everyone knowledge and experience to help conserve Oregon's lakes. He says protecting the beautiful place we live in is crucial. And to do that, Fisher says he's developing eco-friendly fishing equipment, such as bait containers. The baits that I have come in um, sugarcane fiber containers, which can biodegrade in your compost pile in less than three months. I've used uh, recycled paper products for my worms instead of styrofoam and uh, compostable biodegradable uh, cardboard material for another portion of my bait. In Medford, Brigham Harris, NBC5 News.